What's going on guys? Welcome back to the tabletop. Well, in this case, it is the, uh, the workbench. I cleared it off to try and you know start doing my videos down here in the workshop instead of up in my, uh, my dining room and having to move all this stuff. I figured I'd just clear out a little spot on my workbench and shoot videos from this now on, from now on. So welcome to the workbench. This is gonna be the new background. I'm sure I'll end up painting this or doing whatever, but welcome. How are you guys? All right, I got a knife in the mail today. I've been pretty stoked on it since I first saw it. I was researching knives a couple weeks ago and I was looking for a Warncliffe blade and two of them really struck my fancy. Well, there's three, but these two stood out more than the other one. Um, the first one was the Spider Koyo Jimbo 2, and the one I ended up getting was the other one I was looking at, which is made by Blackhawk. I'm not familiar with this brand, so I figured I'd give it a try. You know, you don't. I, I want to try other knives rather than the ones that are, you know, everybody knows about, like Spider Co. and Gerber, and you know, all that stuff from Gerber to Spider Co. Whatever, you know, and everything in between. I want to try different brands. You know what I mean? I want to buy a little bit of everything. I don't want to just stick to buying nothing but Spider Co.s or nothing but Sogs or what have you. You know, you get the idea. I want to buy a little bit of everything. So I saw this and I liked the style of this knife I'm about to show you a little bit more than the Ujimbo. Um, I probably will end up getting the Ujimbo. The reason, what, the main reason I got this instead of that is because this retailed for around $63 on Amazon. I'll try and throw a link in the description if I, you know, remember, even though I'm going to watch this video and edit it and it's, I'm going to hear myself saying this, but this retailed for about 63. The Spider Co. Ujimbo was around uh, what was it like 125 or something like that and I myself have a hard time spending a hundred plus dollars on a folder I'd rather put that money towards like a fixed blade or something but that's just my personal preference there's guys out there that will spend thousands or hundreds on folding blades or folding knives but I'm more of a fixed blade kind of guy don't get me wrong I love my pocket knives but I'd rather spend more money on a fixed blade than I would a, uh, a folder actually I can't even remember how, what was the most expensive folder I have I don't know I can't remember. Anyways, let's, uh, this is how you get it. Comes in a box that says Blackhawk, you know, with exclamation point. So it's serious. You know it's serious because it has the exclamation part mark right there. Um, yeah, so this is how it arrives when it's out of the Amazon box. You get this nice little box right here. Go ahead and break it open. I have opened it already and looked at it, but I haven't seen, I just saw this a second ago. Let's find out what this is real quick. It is a, all right, it's a mailer. Whoa, what is that? That was really thick. So I guess you can fill this out. Downloaded it ten days of purchase to ensure warranty. Okay, so this is a warranty mail-in. You can send this in, and you have to ten days of purchase to do so. And I guess they warranty it. I'm not sure. If you guys want to read it, I'll go ahead and hold it right there. Hopefully, you can see it and get right there. Yep, got it. You can go ahead and pause there and get my fingers out of the way so you can actually read it on screen if you can make that out. So yeah, that's just the warranty mail. I don't think I'll be doing that. It's, I don't think this life's gonna break or anything. It might, but I'm over it already. All right, so here's the blade. It's an extremely, extremely aggressive Warncliffe style. That's what I liked about this rather than the Yojimbo. The Yojimbo is more rounded and kind of comes to more, if it's more stubby looking, and I wanted this just because of how aggressive it looked. You know, it just, it looks like it's meant to penetrate. It looks like it's gonna be really good for doing like, you know, fine, cutting tasks and, you know, basically surgical shit because when I took this out and started playing with it to, you know, move the pocket clip to um, tip up right hand carry, I touched the tip ever so lightly and it did puncture my skin a little bit. Now, had I pressed harder, it probably would have gone in extremely deep. It pricked me like if you were sewing something and the needle went into your finger and it was the lightest touch ever. Like, I mean, I can't explain it and you can't feel it on camera, but like just... I don't even know how to explain it to you guys. Just, I don't know, just touch the tip of your nose a little bit with your fingernail, just like as, as minimal as possible. And that's what it felt like when I touched it and it punctured my skin. It was ridiculous. So it comes super pointy and super sharp right out of the box, which is awesome. It is Aus 8A steel. It says Blackhawk on the blade right there. Be warned. That is the name of the knife is the Blackhawk Be Warned. Um, G10 handle scales. The blade length, I think, let me pull it up so I'm not lying to you guys. I'm pretty sure it's 3.4 inches. Yep, 3.4 inches is the blade length. It is a plain edge, no serrations or anything like that. Dual thumb studs. There's no jimping on the uh, spine of the blade, but there is some on the handle scales here. The uh, overall length is 7.8 inches. I already said the, uh, the, the steel type. 
Uh, da, 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 da. Texture G10, and when it is textured G10, and when I say it's textured, it is super textured. It is has extreme, extreme grip on it. Like it feels almost like it's gonna tear out my pocket when it's in there, but we'll figure that out later if it starts doing it. It is a four-way positional pocket clip, so it's you know tip up, tip down, left hand or right hand carry, which is awesome, you know, because lefties in a right-handed world, I I'm, I don't understand your struggle, but I'm sure it's bad. Dual thumb studs, I can't remember if I already said that. Uh, it is a liner lock design. See that right there? It locks up, in, in my opinion, perfect, right dead in the middle. It's not early, it's not late. It's pretty much dead on. The uh, the blade is actually lined up dead center, which is uh, which is pretty awesome. Flies open super, super quick. It actually, it, I, I would almost compare it to flipping open a spider co. It's almost that smooth, which is absolutely phenomenal. I love a blade that deploys very quickly especially if you need to use it in a self-defense scenario, which is what this knife is made for, more of a uh, self-defense kind of fighting style knife. It was designed by Michael Janich, who also um, designed the Spyderco Yojimbo 2. So if you guys are familiar with that knife, you can actually, you can honestly, you can see it in the handle more than anything else on the knife. It's almost the same exact handle that's on the Spyderco Yojimbo, which I probably will end up picking up simply because I love this so much. But Michael Janich is a expert self-defense and martial arts kind of guy he's you know pretty prominent in that world so i saw this and i read a little bit up on it and i was like all right you know what yeah let's give this a try but when people hear warncliffe for the most part they don't think a defense or a fighting style kind of knife but the way he designed this it comes to an extremely acute point and it is just stupid stupid sharp i, I can't explain how sharp it is but i will show you um so yeah, I was, you know what, I love the aggressive shape. It's, it looked ergonomic, and it definitely is ergonomic in the hand. The only hot spot I really feel is on the underside right here, where your fingers would lay, where you can see the liner lock. Right here, a little bit, is a little bit of a hot spot. Like if you were going to be doing a lot of cutting tests, it might fatigue your hand a little bit, but it doesn't seem too bad. They could have left a little bit more material there and rounded it a little bit more instead of having it cut at such an angle to where it comes to a square edge. I might just take a little file or something and round it off to see what happens. But uh, that's pretty much my only gripe is that one little spot there. Other than that, it is extremely ergonomic. Your thumb lands real nice on the spine of the knife. If you were going to do some cutting tests, flip it over. You have this area to work with right there where my finger is, and it just it feels really good in the hand. And it's extremely light. And I bet you I just cut myself. Yep, sure did, a little bit. All right, so I flipped it. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it with the lighting. So I flipped it and barely grabbed it, and it did that right there. So it is extremely sharp. <laughs> All right, let me pause the video and get a Band-Aid real quick. All right, there's the first cutting. All right, so yeah, it's extremely, extremely sharp. Now, that sacrifice the knife gods for this week has been taken care of. Awesome. Um, yeah, these things happen. You play with knives, you get bit every once in a while. No big deal. But like I was saying, it is extremely light. Try to flip it again. There we go. Without stabbing myself or cutting me. So it's extremely light. You're really not going to notice it in the pocket. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, off topic because I had to go get a Band-Aid. Ah, crap. All right, let's just start off something new. Um, when, you, when you hear Warncliffe, you don't think a tactical design. You think something more like... I'm pretty sure I brought it over. There it is. Okay. Something more like this, like a razor blade. How it's got that, it's meant for, you know, cutting and stuff like that. That's usually what you hear or what you think of when you hear Warncliffe. You see, you see this blade shape and you think you got to cut with it, but extremely pointed. And I'm sure it will do this very well, which we're going to try in a second, but it also will pierce. I can, I can almost guarantee that. This knife was designed for combat purposes. But being a Warncliffe, I'm sure it will be good in everyday cutting tests as well. I do have a few materials over here. I tried to find some weed whacker string, which is what I cut most of the time at work, that and like wires, but I couldn't find any laying around right now. It's all out in the shop at work, and I don't feel like getting it and stuff like that, so screw it. So I've got some cardboard and some other materials. Let's go ahead and see what this thing can do. Holy crap. I am literally putting almost no pressure behind that whatsoever. And it's cutting extremely well. Yeah, that is a, that's almost a joke. I need to find something thicker. Hold on, I don't know if I have anything. Ah, oh, crap. You know what? There we go. Let's do that. Fold it in half, make it a little bit thicker. Yep, still cutting straight through it. All right, cardboard's a joke. So let's try something different. Let's. Let's try some paracord and see how it will cut this. Let me do a double. 
I don't know if I have enough to go around it three times. And maybe. There we go. We got three right there. Let's see what happens. I'm not gonna be probably not gonna be able to grip it, but let's find out. All right, that was a joke. Wrapped it three times. Cut straight through it. No problem. Uh, ballistic nylon. Let's see what it does with this. Probably the same thing. Yep, straight through it. Not an issue. Just gotta double it up. Hope I can get a good grip on it. Eh, ish, kinda. Straight through, doubled. A little bit of fray, fray action there, but this is not the highest quality ballistic nylon, but it wasn't cheap either. Uh, duh, 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 duh. So, paper cutting test. Obviously, we gotta do that. I've also been practicing. Did you see that? First shot. Practice makes perfect. All right, so it is just stupid sharp. I'm what I'm gonna see how um, sharp this tip is. I'm literally just gonna use the weight of the knife and drag it across this paper and see how well it cuts. I'm gonna try and hold it with just two fingers. Just let the weight do something. I feel like it's gonna cut it. Yeah, it did. You gotta pull on it a little bit, but... And that's just the weight of the knife, too. Yeah, so they, the tip is extremely, extremely sharp. What else can we do here? Um, let me go wander around the shop and see what other stuff I can find to cut, because I don't want to stop cutting with this knife. Alright, so I did actually find some weed whacker string and some uh, fat wood. So let's go ahead and cut this weed whacker string. This is just normal gauge weed whacker string. It's pretty tough stuff. Um, not the best weed whacker string I've ever used, but it's still pretty tough nonetheless. That, <laughs> oh man, this knife is freaking sharp. Very, very impressed. I might have to do a second review and get like a bunch of meat and stuff and see how well this thing penetrates because this is ridiculous. Cutting is not a problem. It's it's literally like a razor blade. This is awesome. Yeah, that was not an issue. All right, let's try this fat wood. Yeah, that made a that made mince meat out of this fat wood. <laughs> Shits and giggles. Let's see, feather sticking. Actually, you know what? It might actually do it. Who does bushcrafting in their workshop? This guy. Yep, that's who. I think it actually will... It actually will feather stick. That's pretty crazy. What kind of grind is this? I didn't even say that. It's a saber grind. Okay, so it is a saber ground blade. Sorry, I didn't even say that at the beginning. I didn't even... I just wanted to, honestly, I wanted to cut stuff real bad with us. I was trying to fly through everything else. All right, so you saw it perform mildly. We might have to do a second review on this, like I said, and get some um, penetrating tests, because I don't want to stab this into the... Damn it. <sighs> Had to stab into the workbench, didn't I, of course. So it did penetrate, not much, because this is really dense wood. But um, yeah, we're gonna have to do another test with this because I am uh, I am in love with this blade. So there you go, guys. That is the Blackhawk Be Warned Michael Janish Design Knife. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Like I always say, get out there and be safe doing so. I'll catch you guys later. Take it easy.